happy birthday as well. You always find the latest courtyard. And in solution, Kate. In out of the box. Hello and welcome to Radio Waves by Todd Herbert. If you enjoy reviews, comparisons, band scans of new and classic portable radios and Bluetooth speakers, then make sure to subscribe and tap the bell icon so you don't miss any of my most excellent videos. In front of us, we have the Musin. This is the premium version Cybercube. It is a portable Bluetooth speaker. I love this little guy. It is a premium item and I think you guys will like it too. Currently it retails for $159. Yes, say that's correct. Uh, on their website, uh, you can get a 20% off coupon at this moment of the video. Uh, so it brings the price down to around 127. Now there's different versions of this cube. Uh, this is a cyber cube, so it has this really cool sci-fi element to it. I love it. They also have one called, I think the wild or wilds, and it has more of a camper look to it, a more uh, rugged looking, you know, like take it to the campsite, take it, you know, outdoors. Um, that one's cool. Similar build as this one as well. So let's look at the box. Check it out. Cybercube portable Bluetooth speaker. Love the packaging. It actually came in a little bag too. Um, they really got it down with this uh, packaging. I really like it. So yeah, your money go towards the packaging as well. <laughs> uh, but yeah, pretty neat. It was sealed at the bottom. Two little stickers there. It's amusing on the stickers. Cybercube. Little symbol on top there. On the back, it has some bullet points, um, has a mile number, if it means anything to you. And then there's the battery, rechargeable, of course. Some information there and some QR codes, Facebook and Instagram, it looks like. All right. So let's go ahead and open this up and check it out. Yeah, I was in the market for a Bluetooth speaker, and I wanted something different. And this is different. I love it. <laughs> Absolutely. Um, so it comes with a little cover here. Nice again, protect it. And it's, it's nestled inside this box. So we're gonna go ahead and just yank it out of here. There we go. Um, there it is, there's the size of it. Yeah, that thing's pretty neat. Uh, it actually has some weight. <laughs> it weighs about a half a pound. Um, so yeah, we'll, get, we'll go over the uh, details here in a second. Let's see what we get in the box. So we have a foam insert. It's kind of cool how they use like metallics uh, on their printing. Neat foam there we have a little false door there and then we got our get our guide uh let's go through this real quick it's pretty much showing uh what the cube can do on your adventures outdoors yes this is uh somewhat waterproof it's ipx5 water rated which means you could take it in the rain pretty nice uh there's some uh, information there um i'll try to cover everything um, you can see this one here has a different uh, front speaker grill. I think that's more like the wild one. Uh, and I think they have a version of this one with the standard speaker grill. I went with something different. I went with the spinner grill. <laughs> I like it. Uh, but no, there's some really neat ones in there. And uh, some of them are less money. So you can definitely take a look on their website. I'll have links below uh, to this speaker. And I'm affiliate of their website now. I signed up. And uh, so if you purchase one, I uh, get a little kickback to the website, uh, to the channel. So it's great. I appreciate it. So here you go. We got a standard version, uh, 230 grams, and the premium version, which I have here, is 245 grams. So you get half a pound, and we'll explain why in a little bit. <laughs> it is a beast. There you go. I think I went over that page. Okay, pretty basic. I think we are done. Important notes if you need them. I don't think we care about that, right? Okay. Instructions and limited one year warranty. Okay, good. And there's their website information. So yeah, they make some really cool classic radios too. A lot of you guys uh, mentioned this company to me. I didn't know about them. So thank you for telling me about them. Uh, across the border of the Cosmo. I'm thinking Cosmos would be better, but uh, is that. Another little false door here. It says look inside. And inside we get a charging cable. Looks like a USB to type C. Yep, nice. All right, so we'll put the stuff aside and let's focus on the cube. All right, so we're gonna go downtown and go over features of this bad boy. Okay, let's go over dimensions real quick first, then we'll do a size comparison. So dimension-wise, it's pretty compact. Uh, we have two and a quarter inches across, we're three inches in height, and then we have a depth of one 
and a half inches, including that front spinner. Yeah, it's awesome. <laughs> I'm digging this little dude. Look at this thing. It's awesome. Yeah, for the price. I mean, I thought about it, and it's like, it's an investment. It's fun. It's different. It's totally cool. I mean, I'll spend, you know, 100 bucks on a Skywave. You know, why can't I spend a little bit more and get something cool on a premium Bluetooth speaker that's built to be waterproof, too? Yeah, liking that. So let's, uh, yeah, do a couple items for size comparison. I have my CC Pocket always. There you go. Get an idea. And, of course, you saw CC Skywave there. Let's bring that back out. So this thing is really compact. Um, and it weighs more than a Skywave. <laughs> it's absolutely a tank. Uh, loving it. So there's that. And then, I, of course, somewhere around here, I have a deck of cards. And then when we're playing this, we we'll a little party mode going out. I'll turn the lights out. But uh, there's a deck of cards there. Iron Man, he's the man with the master plan. He loves awesome Bluetooth speakers from Musin Land. He's the Iron Man. You get it, right? So there it is with a deck of cards. Standard playing deck size. There you are. Awesome. Okay. So there it is. So let's talk about features of the Musin Premium version Cybercube. That's because it has this fidget spinner on the front. Loving that. I think that's so cool. <laughs> All right. So you can tell this is a painted surface. It's got a really cool space theme to it. It's got this white and gray pinstriping. Liking that. As you see there, they have their name. Um, it's all die cast metal. So that's metal. The back's metal. All these parts are metal. Um, there's a few plastic pieces on here. A plastic, this fidget spinner's metal, but the plastic ring here for the light. And it, this is plastic, the cap for the charging port. But everything else is metal. I think this might be plastic here, this jog wheel and this little switch here. But everything else is metal. This support brace, metal. Uh, volume knob metal. So yeah, pretty cool stuff. So yeah, overall pretty solid build. Of course it stands. Boom. Lays down like this because they actually put little rubber feet on the back too as well. It's well thought out speaker. Love. I was looking at the reviews and everybody loves this one. Uh, so let's get going here. Um, I want to turn this thing on. Here we got our volume knob. It's like knurled metal. Yeah, that thing's all business. Above it we have a button. That controls the lighting effects. So you got uh, three modes and then off. So that controls that, and we'll get to see that in a little bit. Our main switch here is our power switch. So we press that down, it turns it on. If we press it up and hold, um, I think it's three seconds to turn it on. If you have press and hold down three seconds, turns it on. Press and hold down, turns it off. Uh, press and hold up uh, resets the Bluetooth. So you see a little Bluetooth symbol. If you have a problem uh, hooking up to your device, do that. And of course, it's got a flashlight where you push this down. And it turns the flashlight on. And right now it's on high. And if you tap it, it goes to the modes that's low. And they press it again. And it has a, like a flasher mode here. As you can see, it's just going to flash. There we go. Okay, and then we'll uh, press and hold turned off. All right. Next to it, we have a jog wheel. So if you go this way, it's track forward. If you go this way, it's track back. Real simple. Um, and then center is pause play. Our fidget spinner. And we have a, uh, I measured about, I think a quarter, uh, one and a half inch speaker behind this uh, fidget spinner. Amazing power, four ohm, five watts. Yeah. If you're jamming it, you're going to run the battery down way, way, way fast. <laughs> There's no doubt about it. This thing is just going to take the juice. Um, so yeah, loving that. As you can see, they use these really cool fasteners. Um, what are those star bits? I'm not sure. Torx star. And uh, these was all over in here on the flashlight there on top, on the fastener, even on the lanyard hook point. So, yeah, it's pretty neat how they put that all together. Um, right hand side, we have our charging jack. This thing's cool. Um, I'll pop this open. Now, there's a trick to this because uh, you don't want to just rip it open. So, push this down a little if you can. So, push this down and then it should open. Let me. Fight it. There we go. If you just yank it open, this is plastic. This would probably break. This part here is metal, the hook, and this is plastic. Keep that in mind. There's a rubber jacket here to help keep the water tightness. We have a Type-C jack. If you plug in a Type-C, uh, it turns red when charging and solid green when it's done. Nice thing I noticed while I was charging it, you can run the speaker. So if you bring a power bank with you, you can keep the tunes rolling if the battery starts to drop down. So to put it back on, I tend to push 
down and then towards the body. That way it's not clicking in and you, you don't wear out your charging port door. Pretty cool. Our flashlight, as you saw, this also flashes. When it's flashing fast, it means Bluetooth's uh, ready looking. If it's flashing slow, it's connected. And on the back here, you can see Bluetooth speaker, serial number, and some information there. Okay, Musin. All right, so let's go ahead and turn it on and do a demo. So I got a little MP3 player off here dee -dee -dee, with Bluetooth. And we're going to go ahead and uh, let's see, make sure this is on. I think it's on. Okay, it's playing. So we're going to do a little demo with some YouTube royalty free music. Press and hold this down. There we go. Startup sounds connected. Doing a little fading here with the color. You guys can see that. I want to pause, so I'm going to play. There you go. Just for a few minutes. So yeah, that is awesome. You got a little taste of the music there from the YouTube Royalty Free Music. Now I got to sci-fi. That's the main reason why I bought this. I'm going to use this to play all of my 
uh, science fiction uh, old time radio shows. So let's go ahead and uh, I got a couple on my iPad or iPad. It is an iPad, <laughs> my music player. Let's go ahead and uh, go through here. So go ahead and start it here. You can hit play. Okay, I'm in the wrong folder. Go to this first here. Okay. In time and space, told in future tense. Dimension X. is an interesting phenomenon. A ticking clock, the running sands of an hourglass, all these have captured the imagination of men. But time is more. It exists now, and then, and in the future. Suppose we are in the year 1950, coexistent in time, maybe worlds we have never seen, the worlds of the past and of the future. The year was 1950. It was a spring night in Mexico, fiesta time. Countdown for blast off. X minus five, four, three, two, X minus one, fire. CBS Radio Workshop, dedicated to man's imagination, the theater of the mind. Today, The Space Merchants, Frederick Pohl's and C.M. Kornbluth's modern classic about the future when the wizards of high-pressure salesmanship take over. It's the story of Mitchell Courtney, a copy smith star class with... Wheat Checks, Rice Checks, and Good Hot Ralston presents Space Patrol! High adventure in the wild, vast reaches of space. Missions of daring in the name of interplanetary justice. Travel into the future with Buzz Corey, Commander-in-Chief of the Space Patrol! Adventure, there, there you go. You get the idea. It's pretty cool. Um, and then, of course, uh, we can turn it down, set power down, press and hold. And the light goes. I like that little trilling light. So there it is. The Musen, Musen's premium version CyberCube uh, portable Bluetooth speaker. Uh, it's Bluetooth 5.0, of course. Uh, so my even my older device, I think this is like 4.1 or 4.2. It works well with it. So uh, pretty impressed, pretty happy with it. Love that you can... Play this little cube uh, with the power uh, being charged to it. You could have a power bank with you on the go, like a little 5,000 milliamp hour source. And, you know, the runtime is about 68 hours, six or eight hours, excuse me, depending on how hard you're running it. If you're running it really hard, probably less than that. Um, but if you're running about medium to low volume, expect about an eight, eight, eight hour runtime uh, with the LEDs off too, probably will help. Um, so just remember uh, that, you know, the little battery will you know, get used. So bring a power bank with you if you're playing at entertaining all night long with this little guy, which I see no problem with. <clears throat> I absolutely love it. <laughs> this thing is fantastic. Look at this. It's like a little gas can on the back. That's awesome. Um, totally futuristic, totally premium. It's one of those items where it's like, how many people do you know that have one? And then it's just perfect. Uh, if you have yourself like a phone, or of course everybody has a phone with the Bluetooth, or a little MP3 player with the Bluetooth, 
It's fantastic. You could podcasts. You could do all kinds of fun things. I'm definitely going to keep this sci-fi themed. It's just, it works. You heard it. It sounds fantastic. So yeah, if you love this premium item and you want to pick one up, check out my link below. Uh, if you use it, like I said, get a kickback for the channel. It keeps going. I'm going to probably use any money I make. Um, I don't know what it is, a few percent uh, towards more of their Musin radios. They got some really cool ones. They got the metal classic Musin old time radio, which has the FM radio built in. I kind of wish this had FM, but eh, you just got the Bluetooth speaker. That's fine. But the other ones look really cool. They got all metal cabinets. They got wood cabinets. Um, I guess they're the original creators of the wooden cabinet old time radio uh, style Bluetooth speaker with FM radio. And then they even have new ones now with AM and FM. So you guys are interested in those, but they're definitely, uh, the price is up on those. Uh, it'll be well over a couple hundred bucks to check those out. But still, very cool. Very unique company. I love it. Cool products. So it gets a recommended buy from me all day long. Like I said, they have all these different versions. Check out the Outdoors ones. They have the uh, the Wilds. This is the same thing. This is Outdoors as well, but it's more space-themed. They have this white, and they also have a space gray as well. And they have different speaker grills. It says a fidget spinner calling it the premium version, and the standard version has just an, a boring speaker grill. I wanted something fun, kind of alien artifact looking. I like it. <laughs> Definitely neat. So there it is. All right. Uh, of course, two, if you like music products, you want to see more, subscribe at the bell icon, get notified. And three, comment below what you think about spending a premium chunk of money for something really cool. Um, again, this thing is solid. This feel It's heavy. It's a half a pound. All metal construction, all solid. Um... Just absolutely love it. Tell me what you think. All right, guys. Appreciate you watching. Take care, and we'll see you in my next video.